I would like to begin by acknowledging the indigenous peoples of all the lands that we are on today. This place sits on the traditional territory of the Three Fires Confederacy of First Nations, comprised of the Ojibwe, the Adawa, and the Potawatomi. While we meet today on a virtual platform, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the importance of the land which we each call home. We do this to reaffirm our commitment and responsibility in improving relationships between nations and to improving our own understanding of local Indigenous peoples and their cultures. We also acknowledge those whose ancestors were brought here against their will as a result of the African slave trade, and we work to eliminate racism in all its forms. From coast to coast to coast, we acknowledge the ancestral and unceded territory of all the Inuit, Métis, and First Nations people that call this nation, Canada, home. The Lord is creator of all. May we tremble in awe. May we praise God's great and awesome name. Our mighty God is a lover of justice. May we strive for equity and righteousness. When our ancestors cried out to God, God answered them, and God responds to our prayers and pleas. Worship the wonder, wondrous and mighty one. Holy is our God. Welcome to Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor for Transfiguration Sunday, February 19th, 2023. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And Jesus was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became bright as light. Suddenly, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will set up three tents or shrines here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While Peter was still speaking, a bright, suddenly a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved child, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell to the ground and were overcome by fear. Then Jesus came and touched them, saying, Get up and do not be afraid. When they raised their eyes, they saw no one except Jesus alone. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus ordered them, Tell no one about the vision until after the human one has been raised from the dead. Have you ever been at a loss for words? Have you ever experienced something so profound, so moving, that you actually didn't know what to say or do? And when you had that experience, have you ever, in an attempt to sound intelligent or profound or with it, you instead stick your foot in it, and made a fool of yourself. I certainly have. A lot. I think that's what happened to Peter in today's scripture reading. Jesus took Peter and three other disciples up to a mountain to pray. Something incredible happens. Something beyond belief or explanation. Peter, and I imagine the other three too, were gobsmacked. I can relate to Peter's enthusiasm. This was a remarkable experience, and, and they had certainly deserving of some kind of commemoration. 
Peter missed the point, though. It literally took a divine intervention to get through to him. To paraphrase, Peter, shut up. How often in our own lives do we get so caught up in what's going on that we lose sight of what's really important? How often are we overcome by fear and not knowing what's coming next? How often do we end up acting out and need to be told, figuratively or literally, to shut up? How often do we forget who's really in charge? Here's a hint. It's not us. May we remember that God's love, Jesus, is with us always, no matter what. So get up. Don't be afraid. In all God's many and wonderful names, amen. Mystery of Mysteries. We confess that we think we know far too much than we actually do. We think we know right from wrong, good from bad. We think we know who is beloved by you and who is not. We think we have the authority to judge. We have messed up badly. Wondrous God, Call us back into your ways of love and mercy and turn us away from snap judgments and overconfident perceptions. Remind us that all of you have made in this universe we are but a grain of sand. Yet you have loved us, molded and shaped us. Call us back into a place of awe and wonder, a place where we question and listen more than we demand and answer. May we become slow to judge, quick to forgive, develop a posture of compassionate listening, and silence the voices that make us think we know better. In the name of our wise God, our Savior Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. The Beloved One loves us all and has shown us the way, the truth, and the life. Love one another. Serve one another. Be moved by empathy and compassion and love, not by measures of success in this world, such as wealth and fame and worldly power. Listen, seek, serve, and love, and it shall go well with you. You are God's beloved, and God calls you to follow the Beloved One, Jesus Christ our Lord, in whom you are forgiven, loved, and restored. Amen. And we pray all these things in the name of Jesus who taught us to pray. O God, our divine parent, may your presence be ever revered. May your peace and justice dwell among us. May your love and compassion live within and between us. Nourish us daily with the necessities of life, sustenance for our bodies, and inspiration for our spirits. May the forgiveness we give be that which we receive. The kindness we show be that which we perceive. Lead us on virtuous paths and distance us from evil. For your world is our world, and your reign our reign, then, now, and always. May it be so. God is with us. Let us lift up our hearts. Yes, lift them up to God. Let us pray. Most loving God, we know that you are with us no matter where we are, no matter how we come together.
we remember now how you took the bread, blessed it after the manner of your people, broke it, and gave it to your, everyone there, saying, this is my body given for you. We remember now how after the meal you took the cup and blessed it too after the manner of your people and gave it to your friends saying, this is my love poured out for you and for everyone. Whenever you do these things, remember me. And we remember too the mystery of our faith that Christ has died Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Most loving God, we give thanks for the opportunity to meet, for we know that whenever two or more gather in your name, even virtually, you are with us. Be with us now as we go our separate ways, so that we can be your love and your light in a world that so desperately needs it in all your many and wonderful names. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Your support, your thoughts, your prayers, your clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below, and of course your financial contributions are all greatly appreciated as they enable us to continue this ministry. If you would like to join us in person at Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor, we meet every Sunday in the Grace Chapel of Emmanuel United Church, 1728 Lincoln Road, Windsor, Ontario, Canada, every Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern. Let us pray. God of mystery, God of transfiguration, Help us to view the world differently. Help us to experience places where heaven and earth meet, where the veil is thin, where we view life through your lens. Help us to find the holy, wherever we are, to experience mystery and wonder. May we experience awe that causes us to tremble in your presence. May we hear your voice call to us and may we feel you gently help us up when we are down. May we experience the holy all around us, knowing you are ever-present and faithful. Your steadfast love endures forever in us, around us, and beyond us. Amen. And as we go our separate ways, may the God who has created us Christ who saves us, and the Holy Spirit, our comfort and our strength, be with us all until we can meet again. And all God's children say, Amen.